If you want your videos to be top notch, correct your audio. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on audio correction. Let me know in the comment section below what tools you use for correcting the audio for your videos. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's correct some audio. As you can see, I have two clips in my timeline. This clip is a video clip, but it also has audio in it. You can tell that because there is a waveform of the audio there. And then I have a clip on track two, which is just an audio clip. So you can edit or correct your audio, whether it's an audio clip by itself or it's a video clip that has audio in it. So I'm gonna click on this video clip that has audio in it. And I'm going to click on editor and then it opens up the editor but right now it's on the video section if I click on the audio option then I get a bunch of great options to correct or edit the audio good stuff get bueno. get bueno. okay so I'm gonna go back here to the video option here and I'm going to now click on the audio file. And now you see that it automatically jumps over to the audio setting and there is no video option here because it's just an audio clip. So the first thing on here that you have an option to do is under the channel mixer, you have the option to optimize the volume. If you do that, it's going to make it go to zero db because that's the base starting point for any video so if you want to you can do that it'll optimize the volume and you'll be all gravy but you guys know me i take it to that next level okay i go one level above and it's some things that i want to do to make sure that my clip is beautiful so the first thing i'm going to do is go to corrections And under corrections, the first thing that I want to do is use the compressor. So what the compressor does is it reduces the volume of the loud sounds in your video. So I'm going to make some changes here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to change is the ratio. And so the ratio is how much compression is applied to the clip. So here for the ratio, I'm going to do 2.5. And then the next thing is the threshold. So the threshold is how loud the signal has to be before any compression is applied to the clip. And I'm going to do 15 dB. And then we have attack. And attack is how quickly the compressor starts to work. And I'm going to do 0.5. 0, 0, 007 seconds or seven milliseconds however you want to look at it and the next is release and that's um how soon after the signal dips below the threshold that the compressor stops and for the release i'm going to do 0 0.1 seconds or 100 milliseconds so I'm good to go here. What this is going to do is it's going to, like I said, it's going to reduce the volume of the loud, loud sounds in the video by compressing it. So that's step one. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add some warmth and clarity to my voice. So to do that, I'm going to go to equalize. Now, this works different for men and for women. So if you're a man and you want to warm up your voice, you want to add three to five decibels uh, around the one 
80 to 200 hertz area. And then if you're a woman and you want to add warmth to your voice, you want to add three to five decibels around the 400 hertz area. So since I am a man and you know, I'm, I'm so manly, I want to go ahead and add that. I guess I'll do three decibels and here's 200 under the low mids. So I'm going to leave this at 200 and I'm going to double click here and add three. So we got three decibels. And now I want to improve the clarity of my voice. So for men and women, once again, it's different. For men, you want to add four to six decibels around the 3000 Hertz area. And for women, you want to add four to six decibels around the 4000 Hertz area. And like I said, since I'm a man and I'm so manly, I want to come up here to the high mids. And right now it's set to 2000 Hertz. So I can double click on that, change it to 3000 and you'll see the dial change there. And here I want to do four DB. So I'll double click on the decibels or the gain, change it to four and I'm good to go there. So now I have added some warmth and clarity to my voice. And these are small changes, things that you might hear, things that you might not be able to hear so well. So let's go ahead and play it. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? And then I'll remove the equalizer changes that I made and play it again. My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love. Those are good settings. So I'm going to move on. So the last thing I want to do is remove any background noise from this. So I'm going to go to noise reduction. And under noise reduction for the preset, I'm going to change this to no preset. And for the level, I'm going to change this, but I'm barely going to change it because my noise levels are pretty good. Matter of fact, my uh, preamps on my uh, sound recorder are very clean. So not too much noise that I need to remove. So I'm just going to do 0 0.05 and then auto adapt. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this because I want to do fine tuning because the amount of the level that I changed is so slight that I just want to fine tune it a little bit. Um, and I'm going to do 0 0.05 again on that. If, um, you're changing it a big amount, like if your level here is anything probably above, like, I don't know, like 10 or so, I guess, then you probably want to leave auto adapt on there to take care of any changes in sound that happen, but I'm good to go. I made slight changes, so I shouldn't have to worry about changes in the audio and then I just fine tune a little bit. If you're outside and there's wind noise, you can do remove wind to help to cut down on the wind noise. But as you guys know, I do all my business inside, so I don't need to remove any wind. So I'm done with my changes to the audio. These are the audio changes or the corrections that I do for my audio workflow in Pinnacle Studio. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Frog Tech Tips. Frog Tech Tips makes tech review videos and how-to videos on their YouTube channel. So if you want to check out some cool technology or you want to check out and learn how to do different things, head on over to their channel, check out a couple of the videos. And if you're feeling what they're dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Frog Tech Tips did, head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you got any tutorials you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.